Hi guys, I know, same outfit, I just, um, filmed my tag video, so, um, and this one, this video is going to be about brushes, really quick, I just have some things to say about storage, I have this little bin here with, that I got from, like, the dollar store, something that you'll see in my, um, makeup collection and storage video, and I just toss my brushes in here, it's got, like, four different sections in it, and then I have another one over here with, like, my brush guards and, like, q-tips and then some extra brushes that I don't use that often and some spares and then I just have my makeup brushes that I keep in my um travel makeup bag I guess and then I keep my two kabuki brushes out so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my um travel makeup brushes if you want to call them that these are just the brushes that I keep in my makeup bag on the go which I'll do a video of what's what I, I keep in there so I'll start with this one this is my Mary Kay Mineral Foundation Brush. It's the one that you use with the loose powder um, or the mineral foundation. It's flat top. Um, sort of reminds me of the e.l.f. powder brush, only this one's a lot like rougher. Um, and which is why, and it's smaller, which I don't like short handled brushes, which is why I keep, but it's perfect for my thing, which is why I keep it in there, my makeup bag. So, uh, yeah. I just keep this one on the go with me. This is from my Mary Kay Press Powder. This is a dumb, like, little concealer brush that came in a set. I actually like this a lot, but I have another one that I use. It's too small. It's good for on the go, just touching up random spots, but it's too small for me to use every day because I put concealer everywhere. So, um, I keep this one in my purse, and it's from Studio Tools. This is another Mary Kay one. It's a loose powder brush. It came in a set, but I pretty much gave the set away. I think I only have like two brushes from that set. It's a loose powder brush. I think I said that already. Gotta go buy this fast, by the way, just letting you know because I have a lot of brushes and a little bit of time. So, and I typically just use this for like blush or like bronzer. I use this for my pressed foundation and dark concealer. So, those are the three brushes that I keep with me in my makeup bag. And then I have my two Kabuki brushes. This is the e.l.f mini kabuki brush from the mineral line then this is the elf kabuki face brush from the studio line absolutely love it very dense this they're both very 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 soft i absolutely love them and i use them for the same product then i'll do my spare brushes or my extra brushes i have two of these um, mineral blemish brushes that I only use this one for getting complexion perfection underneath or above my eyelid. This is just an actual one that I'm probably going to end up giving away. I have two fan brushes, one that came in a set from Walmart, and I'll show you the rest of the brushes from that set. Pretty nice though, for I will say that. And then this is my e.l.f. professional fan brush, which I typically, I use this one for swiping away like fallout. I use this one for blending because it's thicker. Denser. Then I have a complexion brush from e.l.f. the mineral line and this came in a set of these four brushes. This was a set. And I guess I'll just do the other two while I'm at it. The other two, one is a concealer brush which I don't really have a use for. I don't know if I tried to use it with eyeshadow. Tried to use it with um, concealer. Doesn't really work with either of them yet. I'm still working with it, doing some tests, trying out some things. But we'll see how I like that one. This is the blending eye brush. Really like this one though. Really gets in there, blends everything out pretty nicely. I like this one. Then I have this random um, Studio Tools, just regular powder brush, I guess. I have a stippling brush from the Studio Tools set. Again, all of these came in a set. These came in a set. And, um, yeah, this broke. I'm not going to take it off because I finally got it to stick in there. Don't really like this stippling brush. Um, I just don't like it. I have better ones. And then this stupid eyeshadow brush that I don't know what to do with it because it's so awkward. I'm never going to use this. It's like doe foot, but it's like huge. I never use it. I use it for swatching colors when I first get palettes and I want to swatch it with a brush. That's what I use this for. So that is that. Then moving on this big thing, um, I guess I'll do my face brushes. I have my foundation brushes, e.l.f. stippling brush, love this, e.l.f. foundation brush from the Essential line, pretty good brush. This is from the Walmart collection, I use this one for concealer because it's too small for foundation for me. This is a Studio Tools from Target, I guess, I think it's Studio Tools, love this one, use it every day. It smells like my favorite foundation. Then I have my 
blush and bronzing brushes. I have this angled brush from the L Studio line, reminds me of the MAC one. Really nice, love this one. Um, this is from the Walmart um, set, like this one. Then I have the Professional Bronzing Brush. It's like an angled brush from the Essential line. It's pretty rough. These brushes are pretty rough, but it does the job. And then I have this um, e.l.f. Studio line blush brush, which I use for bronzer because it's tapered. gets right into the hollows, or I can use the flat side just for um, putting bronzer in certain places. Then I have my powder brushes. And this is the sort of the biggest one. This is the powder brush from the Elf Mineral line, which I use for setting powder because it's huge, huge. Reminds me of the Sephora brush. You know what brush I'm talking about from Sephora. And I use this for translucent mattifying powder, and I put it all over my face. Then I have the complexion brush, which is like a flat sort of brush, wide and flat. I use this for the complexion powder only. Then I have the powder brush flat top. Love this. Everybody loves this brush and I love it too. I use it every day for blending in my powder foundations. A lot of people use it for liquid foundation. Don't really like it for liquid foundation. Plus I have a lot of other brushes that I use for liquid foundation, but for powders, absolutely love it. Then I have this powder brush from the um, Walmart Ooh, excuse me, set. And I use this one every day. Absolutely love it. Then I have this Professional Total Face Brush from the e.l.f. Essential line. After I washed it, it got so rough and coarse and nasty, but I mean I still keep it because I use it for like some random stuff I guess, but um, I don't really grab for the, these brushes because they're not very good. But the Studio line brushes and the Mineral line brushes are really nice. Then I have my eye brushes. I like them all. Um, so I'm not really going to do a review on them. I'm just going to go through all the ones that I have because I have a lot. So I have the Elf Small Angled Brush, which looks like that. Um, the per, I'll do all the, no, I don't know, that didn't take so long. Smudging Eye Brush from the, um, Essential Line. Mary Kay, um, Eyebrow Brush and Comb. The comb broke, but I don't ever use the comb. I just use the brush side. Um, Essential line crease brush from Elf, small. Then I have Target, a Target brand crease brush from Studio Tools, I believe, or Studio Basics. Studio Basics, not Studio Tools. Studio Basics. I said that in my last video. Studio Basics. Every time I say Studio Tool, Stool Tools, I mean Studio Basics. Then I have the Elf eyeshadow brush. Like I love this one. I used to use this all the time. Now I have other ones, but I like that one still. This is from the um, Walmart line. I broke it and I use like medical tape to tape it together until I get glue. Um, this is the, I think I said, that's from the Walmart set. Um, blending eye brush from the Essential line from Elf. Bigger version of the crease one. Um, Walmart set, just a flat paddle brush. Um, eyeliner brush from the Walmart set like that. Um, eyeliner brush from the e.l.f. set. I don't know how I feel about this one for eyeliner. I mean it's okay but I use it for my cream shadows. Concealer brush from the Essential line. Way too small to be a concealer brush. Look at that. Way too small to be a concealer brush. I use this for putting shadow on my lower lash line. Then I have this angled shadow brush from the Walmart set, which I use for my eyebrows because it's bigger than the e.l.f. one. Then I have this angled defying eye brush from the, um, defining eye brush from the Essential line. It's just an angled eyeshadow brush. And then I have the all over eyeshadow brush from the Mineral line, which is like the, um, Essential line one only with better quality brushes, <laughs> better quality like hair and handle. So those are all of my brushes. I know I went through that fast because I have a lot. If you have a question on any of my brushes, just leave me a comment or um, send me a message. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and watch my other videos and like them. <laughs> so um, until next time, deuces. <laughs>